Howdy folks, welcome back to Boondockery. Today I'm going to be talking about the Old School Survival Boot Camp. The Old School Survival Boot Camp is an event which occurs at the Vinton County Fairgrounds in Vinton County, Ohio every May. The event basically covers the entire spectrum of survival, preparedness, off-grid living, you name it, it covers it all. And I know it's been going on for at least four years, but it may have gone on longer than that. I have taught classes at the past two boot camps. I'll be teaching again this year, uh, and I'll be covering the, the topics of the 21st Century Minuteman and also uh, hasty shelters for your bug out or get home bags. If by any chance you are subscribed to my channel or you watch my videos, chances are you are in some way, shape, or form in one of those categories that will be focused on during the boot camp. And um, I know that, you know, there for a while, um, the, the prepper thing uh, was sort of um, almost laughed at by a, a very large proportion of society. And then when the, uh, the, the, the sickness happened, uh, all of a sudden uh, when people couldn't get their toilet paper and they couldn't get a whole bunch of other necessities that they needed, all of a sudden they realized, well, wait a minute. There might be something to this prepping stuff. And uh, a lot of minds were challenged and changed because of that event. And um, there's something about being human is that we put a cycle in our thought processes to where we prepare for things. Uh, some people, they lay their clothes out the night before, and when they get up, they get their shower, they get dressed from those items that they laid out the day before. Some people will have a quarter tank rule, which means that when you're driving your car, once the fuel meter reaches one quarter of a tank, you refill it. There's a lot of things that we do, we may not even really think about it, that is preparing for something in the future. Now, I'm certain that everyone here went to uh, uh, school or had a job or something to where you had fire drills and tornado drills. And the likelihood of those things occurring in a public school or <laughs> a place of work is usually fairly slight depending upon your place of business. However, you practice those things. And I, for one, can attest that having a fire drill plan that you rehearse and practice will save your family. I lost my house several years ago and we got out. Nobody was hurt and we got out really quick. We knew what we had to do because we practiced it. Well, without getting too far out there and too into details. Over the past several years, we as citizens of the United States have been placed in positions to where we may have to deal with challenges in our future that we never had to really consider before. If you live in an earthquake prone area, well, you know you have to prepare for that kind of thing and you know what to do for that kind of thing. The same thing with tornadoes uh, and wildfires and all those other things. You have to think about those things and prepare for them. Those are things that occur on a frequent basis. Now the things that we could be facing in our possibly very near future are things that we've never had to deal with. And without getting into specifics, some of these things could change the world in a horrible, horrible way. And we don't know 
what tomorrow is going to bring because we aren't in control of making the decisions. The people that are in charge of making those decisions, they're making some really bad decisions. And chances are, they're probably not going to have to suffer through a whole lot because they have special safeguards to protect them, to feed them, to clothe them, to shelter them. And what did the masses do? <laughs> well, uh, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm talking about the old school survival boot camp. Because the old school survival boot camp truly does cover the entire gambit of living off grid, living sustainable, uh, survival, um, communications, self-defense, even recreation. All of these things that they cover in one three-day event is unlike anything else I have ever seen. I've been to prepping conferences, I've been to a lot of different styles of survival conferences, all those things, and generally they pigeonhole themselves into one particular train of thought, one particular topic, even though that topic can branch out into other things. The Old School Survival Boot Camp covers it all. Let's just say you've got blinders on, you're not seeing anything else that's going on in our world. All of the things that very possibly could occur, you just want to get to where you are in control of your food supply. You want to get off grid. You want to live sustainably. You want to get into homesteading. All of those things are very important. And I think if a whole lot more of us did those things, we wouldn't have to worry quite so much about the situations and events that very possibly could be occurring in our not too distant future. Now I'm going to provide uh, the link for the old school survival boot camp. I'm not going to attempt to cover even remotely a fraction of what's on the website because it's a huge website and um, you'll, you'll need if you're interested in something like this you really need to spend an afternoon going through and reading that website because literally it can take you an afternoon if you go through and read each thing and uh, but I'm going to read you a real quick quick blurb that's um, on one of the, the lead pages of the website just so it gives a little brief hint as to what their take on their event is. Homesteading, uh, survival homesteading skills for the modern world. Join thousands of folks from 26 states and Canada at the largest homesteading and survival event in the Midwest hosted by the Old School Survival Network. The Old School Survival Boot Camp is a three-day, hands-on, self-reliance event that takes place annually in May in the Hocking Hills region of Ohio. This is not a sit, listen, and take notes kind of an event. You will be an active participant in the classes and receive building, skill building, hands-on training. Nearly 170 hands-on survival, blacksmithing, homesteading, bushcraft, butchering, that's, a, that's one that I definitely am going to be taking, off-grid living, prepping, herbalism, emergency, emergency medical, wilderness survival, homeschooling, foraging, and martial arts classes will be offered by 70 plus experts from around the country. Well, actually that should say 69 plus experts and one regular guy, that's me. I'm not an expert on anything. Um, the Old School Survival Boot Camp is a hands-on learning experience for the entire family. There are over 30 classes and activities offered each day just for the kiddos. Classes run from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. 
register for classes in advance online. Definitely do that because they fill up quick. Live music at lunch. Special activities on Friday and Saturday evening, including contests and skill challenges hosted by Dave Canterbury and the Pathfinder School. On Thursday, before the Old School Survival Boot Camp and Homesteading Gathering 2024 starts, the Ohio Homeschool Science and Youth Makers Market will be held. Uh, event partner is uh, On Guard Defense will be offering firearms training, which I've taken several of their courses. They are fantastic. Uh, we'll be offering firearms training and freeze drying um, food classes, which <laughs> I got one of those too, uh, off site at their gu uh, gun range. It's an awesome range, awesome range. I talked a little bit about that in another one of my videos. The event partner Raccoon Creek Outfitters, which I also know very, very well, will be offering canoe and kayak paddles off-site at their Raccoon Creek livery. Uh, there's a uh, Bobby and Dustin, the owners, absolutely fantastic people. Uh, they were kind enough to give me a job when my um, house burned and uh, gave me a little bit of extra income. And um, absolutely fantastic people, fantastic area, fantastic uh, business. And paddling Raccoon Creek is a whole lot of fun. If you have a coupon code to use, type it in the coupon code box at the checkout. Military First Responders Families Discount Code Heroes for $15 uh, off and uh, adult three-day passes. Use code HEROES2 for $10 off adult two-day passes. Contact us for group discounts and network members discounts at Old School Survival um, bc at gmail.com the three-day event with no discounts or anything else for an adult is a hundred twenty dollars and that is a great deal even if you were just to go there to network with participants that go there it would be worth the drive but that is like the icing on the cake to all of the other awesome, very diverse classes you can take there. You can camp on site, either in tents or in campers. I don't exactly know the specifics for that because I've never done it because I live just a few minutes away from the campground or the uh, fairgrounds that the event's being held. There's also... <laughs> hundreds if not thousands of rental cabins all around southeastern Ohio and the Hocking Hills region to where if you don't really want to camp or stay in a hotel and you do want to bring your family there's all kinds of rental cabins in that area that you could rent. There's also other camping facilities and other cabin facilities at Lake Hope State Park and which isn't very far away from the event at all but you have a lot of options available to you as a matter of fact you know you want to drive a little bit further you could even stay in the uh, old man's cave hawking hills area at their lodge or one of their cabins or at their campgrounds and especially if you only plan on attending a day and want to make sort of like a mini vacation out of it to do other things something like that might be worth considering but being able to have very low cost camping, the RV, from my understanding is it's very affordable. And um, the same thing with tent camping. You're there on site and there's um, shower houses, there's restroom facilities. And if, if you wanted to take a break and go do something, there's hiking, uh, there's fishing, there's all kinds of other outdoor, outdoor activities that you can go to. Uh, it's um, literally right on the border of MacArthur, Ohio. They have a few um, carry out slash gas stations and one grocery store. So you can pick up groceries while you're there or if you want a greater variety of groceries, I would pick them up before you head down. 
When you get to the page where they list all the instructors for all the different classes that are there, that will probably take you an hour just to go through those alone. There are a lot of absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic instructors that's going to be here at this event. There's going to be a very large presence of the Pathfinder Survival School instructors there as well as Dave Canterbury. Um, so you, I don't know if you've gotten online and checked out his courses that he offers. They're bar none, probably the, the finest survival classes that you can take. However, they are pricey and to be able to come to an event to where you can get all kinds of other stuff as well as getting survival training by the Pathfinder um, instructors that's that's a pretty good deal that's a very good deal there are certain classes that require an additional payment uh, in order to participate that and there is a limited number of uh, students that will be permitted to take those classes so check those out online too and uh, you can uh, order all of your tickets for all the events the, the old school survival boot camp as a whole and the individual class uh, tickets for those that are there you can do that all on one site you don't have to bounce around from different sites to do that now every year there's always a lot of really good vendors there as well. As diverse as the classes are, you'll find the same diversity in the vendors that uh, set up uh, tents there. Um, you could buy you know, raw organic honey from the beekeepers. You can buy really high quality uh, emergency medical equipment from North American Rescue, which always has a booth there. You can buy long-term food, uh, long-term storage foods from Schwartz Foods. Their products are fantastic and the list would go on. I'm actually even going to set up a booth this year and sell some of my surplus surplus and some of the things that I acquired uh, for some of my videos that you know I want to free up a little bit of space in my bushcraft laboratory and you know replace it with other stuff so I'm even going to have a booth there but there's a lot of potential to be able to learn a lot and procure a lot in order to help you survive these uncertain times and definitely the uncertain future I know with a lot of this kind of stuff, I'm very vague, that's intentional. Uh, it's probably something I very easily could delve into, but that's a rabbit hole that I do not want to drag all of you <laughs> into. Um, if you're aware, uh, in the same regards that I am, you know about it, you already have your sources from which you get that information. If you choose to you know put on your blinders and ignore all of that that's your choice and uh, I, I want to provide something that can be helpful can be entertaining I don't want to beat you over the head with anything and uh, however I am very focused on doing everything I can to prepare to the extent that I can for the uncertainties of the future. No different than when I do fire drills and prepare for natural disasters. You always have that stuff on hand. You don't think anything about it. You have to have that same mindset when it comes to the other stuff. Now, I am, going to, I am not going to get really into this. However, I will. Um, add in the description box below uh, links to a lot of the resources almost all of them are YouTube sources that I get good information good usable information and I find very very helpful uh, the YouTube channels the people that run them are incredibly knowledgeable uh, they're very talented not like me <laughs> Uh, they have very well structured, uh, very well produced videos and uh, definitely are worth checking out. 
if you are sort of on the fence as to how you feel about all of this because you may listen to the network news and you also occasionally listen to the other stuff and you're sort of like well they said this and then they said that I, was, I don't know um, these links and resources uh, might come in very handy for you to be able to clarify which side of the fence that you want to be on and um, I'm going to put that in the description box below and uh, hopefully you check some of those out and um, I really hope that like me you found them very beneficial and very useful. Well, folks, I certainly hope that all of you check out the website for the Old School Survival Boot Camp. And maybe, hopefully, I might be able to get a chance to meet some of you uh, in May. I believe it starts off May 17th. That, that, it's that same weekend. And uh, be really nice. Uh, last year, I was able to meet a couple of folks that uh, watched the videos. And it, it was pretty nice to be able to talk face-to-face -face with people as opposed to through the comments. And... Um, I really enjoyed that. Well, folks, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.